Hello everyone, Elrond here with part 4 of my NGN Dark Souls run. So, we're now doing a gambit where we just toss a spell, um, hide behind the corner, toss a spell, hide behind the corner. Um, of course I got to finish it uh, faster than I could explain it. Um, Basically, at this point, our dexterity is still too low to um, be able to just duke it out with him. So, we kind of need to wait for him to finish his spell, hitting the wall, and then we pop around the corner and um, cast over him. Um, as technically speaking, if you want to skip this part and go straight to the Moonlight Butterfly to get enough dexterity to do that easily, uh, feel free to do that. Um, I had debated the merits of doing it in the opposite order, and at this point I don't necessarily have an opinion. So after f uh, getting to Andre's um, bonfire, you could go in the opposite direction, back past the... Um, uh, Titanite Demon and um, uh, fight your way through those little tree guys to get to another bonfire which then will lead you to the Moonlight Butterfly uh, which will give you a boss soul which is a soul that requires a confirmation and the significance of that is it's a duplicatable item at that point because or I well, you get the idea, because um, there's no such thing as duplicatable items in the way that I mean it. I mean, there is a way to make it so you can make a stack of a hundred become two stacks of a hundred for common junk, but I never bothered with that kind of stuff. Um, making consumables not consume um, generally is just good enough. Um, and, you know, how are you going to have 99 of something that you actually want to duplicate anyways? At that rate, you don't need duplication. So we're going to free this douchebag. Uh, Demon Souls players will remember um, this guy as pretty much being a spiritual successor to Yurt the Silent Chief. So he's going to go and basically kill people that we don't want to kill. So right now I am setting up to do the uh, glitch for the first time. So I'm going to move the homeward bone over to the second position just because that's what I want it long term. Um, so I'm going to swing the axe and mid swing cast the homeward bone. But before the animation of the swing ends I'm going to pause and then activate the dark sign. If it says the dark sign text, say no. If it says the text of the item you're trying to use, in that case, Homeward Bone, then say yes. So what that essentially translates to in English is we consumed a dark sign, which we have an infinite supply of, to utilize the services of the Homeward Bone, which we have finite amount of. So, I do this wrong. I'm trying to kick him off the wrong way. You want to kick him off the thing to the right. I kind of had a depth perception issue and thought that there was a lip there. But luckily, those kicks didn't count as real swings. So he kind of just accepted it and didn't attack me. Well, what have we here? Either that, or I'm just confused. Well, I think both me and Yurt are confused, because I definitely hit him more than three times. But maybe this axe just does so little damage that it didn't matter. Are you sure about? So, pushed him off the uh, edge, and then we're going to quit the game and immediately come back. Because his items are worth so much according to the game that the item will come back. 
So, who cares about the humanity? It's the ring of favor and protection we care about. That is going to increase our hit points, stamina, and equip load by 20%. The catch, if you take it off, it breaks. So, my counter-proposal is never take it off. That's the only one you're going to get until NG+, plus, so keep it on the bloody finger. Yeah, the fog ring's nice, but um, switch to something else um, on the fog ring side when you need the assistance, um, you know, boss-wise and whatnot. Because the fog ring's not going to do you much good on mo most of the bosses anyways. Um, fog ring being the Dark Souls equivalent to the Demon Souls Thief ring. Um, so anyways, we are now going to make our way um, into the forest again. And so now I'm just trying to conserve my um, pyromancies a bit. Because eight of them is not going to be enough to get through all of this forest. Or at least all the way to the bonfire. So I have to use this worthless axe and um, hope that... These ten Erlenmeyer last the way, which of course it does. Um, there wasn't actually much doubt, if any, at all, but... Anywho. And these mosses are kind of worthless um, in the grand scheme of things, so feel free to just push them off the edge. Um, actually, in... My original playthrough of the game, where I didn't do any duplication um, tricks at all, uh, what I would do is um, I actually invested in the 20,000 soul key to the, um, the next area over here in the forest. Um, and then I just pushed the... Um, the various NPCs off of the cliff because um, I wasn't good enough to fight them legitimately but I was good enough to keep a shield up and kick. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not kicking here. I guess I'm hedging my bets and swinging but I guess the axe does have enough of a pushback factor to kind of make it roughly equivalent to the kick. But I'm used to using weapons that don't push back that much um, on the opponent. Um, and I decided that this guy's probably too far away to push all the way across. So I'm just going to kill him conventionally. And so as you've probably noticed, you got to watch out for them eating at your head. Um, that can be quite lethal if you're um, not prepared for it. Um, for mimics and for these trees, if you spam alternate between um, left uh, L1 and R1, or I guess uh, left bumper, right bumper uh, for um, Xbox controller players, um, you can get out of it a little faster or mitigate some of the damage or something along the lines of uh, making yourself more survivable. So now, I make the mistake here, and I forget to reverse my hollowing. So I get myself over to where a Sunbro sign is going to be, a Sunbro sign for uh, uh, Witch Beatrice, um, who is essentially going to kill the Moonlight Butterfly for us. Um, but you can't summon um, while undead, so you have to reverse the hollowing to uh, reap the benefits of that. So, I get there, I realize my mistake, and then I um, homeward bone back to that bonfire so I can reverse my hollowing and get it right. That's going to be it for this video. I will see you next video. Good luck, have fun.